The Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Kellyanne Class. We have some rain chances back in the forecast beginning about tomorrow, uh, but first we have to get to, through some colder air. We're already noticing that early this morning as temperatures are actually into the 20s and 30s. 22 degrees in Friona, 23 in Mule, Mule Shoe, 31 degrees right now in Lubbock. So keep in mind, these are the actual temperatures. Feels like temperatures will be into the lower 20s and even some teens as well. So layers will be needed this morning. You don't need that rain jacket though just yet. Our shallow water life sky view showing a few clouds across the area, but our Valley and radar is showing dry conditions. We will continue to keep a mix of sun and clouds throughout the daytime hours today. Really not until about tomorrow when we're going to be expecting though for some rain chances to move on in. So uh, breaks in the clouds will allow for temperatures this afternoon to reach the mid 50s. But then by tomorrow as we get overcast conditions, we get temperatures trying to only reach the mid 40s by the afternoon and even rain chances will help to keep our temperatures down as well. By tomorrow morning, maybe a few clouds, a few isolated showers, but then those rain chances will be on the increase by tomorrow afternoon. They'll be scattered during the afternoon. That will continue throughout the evening as well. Notice we're noticing some areas mixing in with some wintry precipitation, but temperatures at the surface will be well above freezing, so we don't have to worry about any of that wintry precipitation if it were to fall to stick or any of that rain to stick on the ground as well, because we'll still be expecting temperatures to be well above that 32 degree mark, that critical mark for uh, rainfall or water to freeze on the surface. But it will be a cold rain. We will continue to see isolated to scattered showers throughout tomorrow evening. Maybe a few lingering showers by tomorrow night, though everything after that looks to clear out as clouds slowly begin to retreat. Keep in mind tomorrow, even though we're expecting a cold rain, if you're going to be heading up to the north near Amarillo, they could be expecting some wintry precipitation, some freezing rain as well. So if you are going to be heading that way, take your time. Try to avoid uh, really just going up there altogether. But at least here, if you are staying in town for the rest of the day tomorrow, it's just going to be a cold rain. In terms of how much accumulation of rainfall we are going to see, not looking like a lot, even though it's going to be a widespread rainfall, it's not going to have some heavier downpours within this system. It's going to be light, but it is going to be a steady rain. What that means for us is not some high accumulation amounts. And in fact, many of us will see about a tenth of an inch, uh, upwards of about a quarter of an inch possible, but not expecting really much higher than a quarter of an inch. Keep in mind, though, we could still see some ponding on the roadways, especially with some of this persistent and steady rainfall. Just again, going to be a light rain. So today remains dry, a high temperature of 55 degrees. Light winds out of the southwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Clouds will be on the increase tonight as temperatures fall into the 30s and then by tomorrow we'll wake up to overcast conditions. Best chance for rain will begin after about 11 o'clock tomorrow. Continue during the afternoon and early evening. Everything clears out by tomorrow late evening, but then look at that by Wednesday. Even though we have those dry conditions, we're already quickly warming up back into the upper 50s and lower 60s. That's going to be the warmest day over the next several as temperatures are either going to be at or below uh, the normal. So just keep in mind, uh, we are a little bit chillier this week compared to last week. We have some rain chance in the forecast again for tomorrow. Thankfully, though, here in Lubbock and the rest of the South Plains, not a freezing rain event. So just have to get through some of those patchy rain showers tomorrow and then back to some nicer weather for the rest of the week. That sounds great. Yeah, pretty much. Again, even though it's not going to be a freezing rain, we just want to remind you to take it easy on the roads. Definitely.